This part has a combination of rotational and freeform elements, which can be challenging to model, but really shows the power of using Rapform XOR for reverse engineering. After extracting a central rotation axis and aligning the data, we created my first sketch profile based off the polygon model and revolved it to create the primary surface. Before proceeding, we wanted to use the accuracy analyzer to verify that our surfaces were aligned and within the desired tolerance, but the color map was showing higher than expected deviations. Was the rotation axis off? Was there an error in the extraction of the sketch profile? Although surprised at first, we learned fairly quickly that the problem wasn't with the axis, or the profile, or the scan. The problem was with the part. It's warped. This plastic injection molded wheel cover was purchased for $5 at Walmart. It is thin walled and scanned in an unfixtured position, so we see as much as 0.15 inches out of plane warpage across the outer rim. There was no point in modeling the as is condition of the warp part, so we proceeded to model an idealized design intent version of the part a model which would be perfectly symmetric about the central axis. We still use the scan model as the source to extract the desired shape, but we were not limited or constrained to adhere precisely to the scan data. The end result is a functionally and aesthetically equivalent model which can now be used for downstream manufacturing or visualization.